to welcome you to tonight's service to activate church and um, I believe that God is going to do awesome things in your life tonight. God has a word for you. Amen. God has a word for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So please, I would like you to at this point just, you know, share the link, you know, invite your friends, invite your family members and welcome them to church as we have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, Happy New Year. It's a new year and um, God is going to do mighty things this year. Mighty things. I want you to expect mind-blowing miracles. The key word for the year is expect. Hallelujah. Expect. Amen. Expect mighty things. Hallelujah. I want to again thank Pastor for this privilege and this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank you for this opportunity to minister God's word to, to God's people. Hallelujah. Amen. Please join me in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. Thank you for the mighty things you're doing, Lord. Thank you, Father. I welcome you at this point. I welcome you, Holy Spirit. And I ask, oh God, help my heart to capture your thoughts. And then help my mouth to be able to communicate those thoughts in words. And let your people be blessed tonight. Thank you, Father, I give you praise. I yield myself totally to you. I cannot do anything. I cannot speak. Please help me tonight. Thank you, Father, I give you all the praise. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Last Sunday was awesome. Hallelujah. First things first. We looked at the foundation. Hallelujah. Waiting upon God. This is the season of prayer. This is the season of fasting. This is the season of waiting on God downloading from God visions and dreams. Hallelujah. And the last Sunday, God took us, you know, from the very foundation, from the basics. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, we're going to look at the power of expectation. Amen. The power of expectation. Hallelujah. Um, there's, there's something interesting, you know. Um, you know, we know about prayer. We know about fasting. You know, but there's a third element, the element of expectation. Very, very important. Very, very important. You know, it, it's something we, we, some of us learned, you know, very late. Very, very important. Prayer, fasting, expectation. The three of them. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're going to look at the power of expectation tonight. Briefly. Hallelujah. Please open your Bibles to Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 12, from verse 1. Amen. We're going to read two stories. This one in the New Testament, and then the second one in the Old Testament, and then we are going to compare the two. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 12, from verse 1. The Bible says, Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed James the brother of John, with his sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Amen. Four quaternions of soldiers, that's 16 soldiers, so Peter was bound in between 16 soldiers. <laughs> How can he escape? 16 soldiers. Amen. Look at verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made. <laughs> Hallelujah. Prayer was made. I like that word made. It's like manufacturing company. You manufacture something. You produce something, you know. These people have prayed to the point that they, they make prayer. They produce prayer. <laughs> prayer was made. Amen. Hallelujah. Without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Amen. Without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Intercession was going on non-stop. 
Hallelujah. Amen. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. This year, expect mind-blowing testimonies, mind-blowing interventions, angelic visitations this year in the mighty name of Jesus. And the angel said unto him, Get thyself and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. Amen. Let me jump to verse 11. Hallelujah. Let me go down to verse 11. Verse 11 says, and when Peter was come to himself, because all this, he didn't know what was going on. <laughs> when he came to himself, he said, now I know of a shorty that the Lord has sent his angel and has delivered me out of the hand of Herod. And from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. The people had expectation. Strong expectation to see Peter killed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Strong expectation to see Peter killed. <laughs> Hallelujah. Expectation is something very powerful. It's something very strong. Amen. Verse 12. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose son name was Mark. This is where prayer was going on. We are many people were gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked on the door of the gates, a damsel came to hearken, named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gates for gladness, for the running. And told the people how Peter stood at the gate. Verse 15. See what they answered. <laughs> people that are praying non-stop. Praying for Peter to be released. Praying for divine intervention. See what they answered the girl. And they said unto her, thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then they said to her, it is his angel. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is where I saw prayer. Non-stop prayer. Prayer without ceasing. Prayer with fervency. But one element is missing. Expectation. Hallelujah. <laughs> the angel went to the prison. Brought Peter out. Peter went to the house. Where the prayer was going on. Where the fellowship was going on. As they were praying. He was knocking on the door. He was knocking on the door. <laughs> Knocking on the door. The little girl heard the sound. Came. Ah, it sounds like Peter. Out of excitement, she ran back. Told everybody to stop the prayer. That Peter is knocking. They said, you are mad. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look at verse 16. But Peter continued knocking. Your miracle can be knocking at the door. Your pastor can arrive. And you are still in communication with God. Still talking to God about the issue. <laughs> Meanwhile, your parcel is at the door. No expectation. Hallelujah. We used to pray like this before. <laughs> Hallelujah. We pray with fervency, but no expectation. So we see little miracles. Amen. <laughs> you know, you know, by God's grace, we've pastored for a while. We've pastored for some years. You know, something used to bother me. You see people gather on 31st night. You see people pray. You see people believe God. People come with their goals. People come with requests. People even write it on paper and drop it on the altar. <laughs> Hallelujah. All kinds of things. Amen. Amen. But but the following year, only about 20% return back with, 20, with testimonies. Out of the lot. Out of the whole congregation. Only about 20%. Sometimes less than 20%. Sometimes 10% return with testimonies. So you'll be wondering what happened to the rest of the congregation? What happened to the masses? What happened to the lords? Hallelujah. 
It used to bother me. Amen. Prayer, fasting, the third element, expectation. Expectation. Very important. Expectation. When you have finished praying, expect the miracle. Expect the testimony. Expect the visa. Expect the admission letter. Be checking your mails regularly. Be checking your mailbox. Expect the calls. Expect the mail to come. Expect that transaction. Expect, your expectation should be high. The Bible says, surely there is an end. And thy expectation shall not be cut off. Hallelujah. Shall, expectation shall not be cut off. Here we see a story of a group of people praying. No expectation. Peter continued knocking. The Bible said in verse 16, And when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. <laughs> but this is what they were praying for. This is the miracle they were praying for. Miracle arrived and they are astonished. They were surprised. <laughs> Hallelujah. They were surprised. And Peter started talking to them how God sent an angel to release him. They were amazed. But first of all, they told the little girl, you are mad. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are mad. Amen. They say you are mad. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We'll read the second story. In 1 Kings chapter 18. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 1 Kings chapter 18. And then we are going to compare the two. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. First Kings chapter 18. The story of Elijah. Hallelujah. The Bible said the Bible in James chapter 5 that he prayed earnestly that it might rain upon the face of the earth. He prayed earnestly and the heavens gave rain. Hallelujah. But we are going to read it in the book of First Kings so that you see in, in, in details what he did. It's not just prayer he did. Amen. First Kings chapter 18, verse 41. We'll start from verse 41. It's not just prayer Elijah did. And Elijah said unto Ahab, Get thee up, eat and drink, for there's a sound of abundance of rain. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's a sound of abundance. He created expectation in Ahab first, before he went to pray. Get thee up, eat and drink, for there is a sound of abundance of rain. Verse 42. So Ahab went up to eat and to drink. And Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. And he cast himself down upon the earth. And put his face between his knees. <laughs> Hallelujah. Next Sunday we'll look at this verse in graphic detail. Hallelujah. Join me next Sunday. We'll look at this verse in graphic detail. But for now we are focusing on expectation. Verse 43, and he said to his servants, go up now, look, expectation, look toward the sea. And he went up and looked and said, there's nothing. Do you know that when Elijah brought this young man to Mount Carmel to pray, I was thinking this is his prayer partner. No, 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 no. He did not allow this young man to join him in prayer. No. He said, you be looking. Why I pray? Be doing the expectation. Why I am doing the prayer. He, the division of labor. He divided it. Be doing the expectation. Why I am doing the prayer and the fasting. Hallelujah. <laughs> he divided the roles. Go and look toward the sea. The servant went and looked. He said there is nothing. Elijah said go back seven times. I have divided the role. Do your own. I do my own. <laughs> Stay at your post of expectation. Stay there. Why I stay in the place of prayer? <laughs> For the things which are seen were made out of things that are not seen. Let me focus on the spiritual. You focus on the natural. This is a division of labor in this matter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Go again seven times. Go again seven times. <laughs> expectation. Do you know that when I read this scripture, the Holy Ghost now said to me, 
He said, now you know what is missing in the first story in Acts chapter 12. The church, the brethren in the house of Mary, as they were praying, they should have positioned somebody outside so that when Peter comes, the person will open. <laughs> they should have done prayer plus expectation, not just prayer. They should have positioned somebody outside waiting for Peter. So that once Peter arrives, they open the door. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you seeing the difference between the two stories? Here we see a man of God praying and expecting. In Acts chapter 2, we see people praying only, no expectation. When the miracle finally arrived, when Peter knocked, the Bible said they were astonished. <laughs> when the girl told them that I can hear Peter's voice, they say, You are mad. <laughs> you are mad. Mr. Translation says, You are crazy. <laughs> Hallelujah. May we not miss our miracles this year. May we not miss our testimonies. May we not miss breakthroughs this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you are praying, be sensitive to the Holy Ghost. As you are fasting, be sensitive to instructions. Be sensitive to divine moving and directions. Be sensitive to heavenly signals. Hallelujah. They said to David, when you hear the sound of a going on the top of the mulberry tree, then the Lord has gone ahead of you. Stand up and move. Hallelujah. Amen. I came tonight to ignite the third element. Expectation. Expectation. <laughs> expectation. Oh, I love Acts. Can we round up with Acts chapter 3? It just came to me now. Acts chapter 3. Thank you, Jesus. As we close. The Bible says in Acts chapter 3. Peter again. And John. Going to the temple. And then they saw a man lame at the beautiful gates. Hallelujah. Look at verse 4. And Peter fastening his eyes upon the man with John. He said, look on us. What did Peter do? Peter created atmosphere of expectation. Look on us. Verse 5. And the man gave heed unto them. Expect to receive something of them. Brothers and sisters, please. This is something I learned recently. <laughs> and I began to practice it. 2022. Last year, 2022. I believe God for four major things. Personally. I and my family. I believe God for four major things. God did five. God added one extra for us. <laughs> that, that fifth one, I did, I, didn't, I did not plan for it. I didn't even know how to come. <laughs> God... All our goals in 2022 answered. Four of them, four major goals answered. Then God added extra five. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I started learning expectation. Not just prayer and fasting. The third element, expectation. Look on us. And the man gave heed unto them. Expecting to receive something. I want you to expect to receive something from God. Hallelujah. Expect to receive. It was that attention, that atmosphere, that attention he gave to Peter and John that caused the miracle. Look on us. Look on us. Hallelujah. Amen. When you finish prayer, please, as you step out every day, expect the miracle from anywhere. <laughs> hey, Kabbalah, Baba, Baba, Shata. You shall not see rain. You shall not see rain. But that valley shall be filled with water. Expect the miracle from anywhere. It will happen anyhow. <laughs> will it happen? It must happen. <laughs> it will happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. Lord, I bless you, Lord. Lord, I magnify your holy name. Lord, I decree, O oh God, as the expectation of your people comes alive. The Bible says you shall grant the desires of our hearts. Thank you, Father. No goal, no dream, no vision will be aborted this year. All shall come to pass. All, the way Solomon said it, he said, all came to pass. For the Lord gave us rest round about. All came to pass. So shall it be in the name of Jesus this year. Thank you, Father. I give you glory. I bless your people. In Jesus' precious name. Amen, amen, amen. You want to give God something? This is the time to give to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The account number is on the screen. Hallelujah. And as you do that, God will bless you mightily in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you.
Thank <laughs> you.